In this video, we will uh, look at how can we use Excel to generate the plots to help us to identify the outliers. So in order to understand uh, which plot we're going to use, please look at the, uh, the paragraph under 3.5, with the, starting with the star. So we need to generate the, the standard residual plot. So the standard residual versus the estimated y-value scatter plot to help us to find outliers. So in order to find outliers, so we generate standardized residual plot. And then we try to find if we have any observation is large than positive 2 or smaller than negative 2. And then we will be able to identify they are my outliers. So now we look at our Excel output example again. So on this example, we're looking at what will affect the GPA. We are considering the age and the class standing. So at this point, and we cannot really directly find the standard, standard residual plot. So we need to create or generate by ourselves. Again, looking at the residual output area. So at this point, we already used observation, predict the y residual. However, we still left one more column haven't used before. So that is my standard residual. So obviously, we're going to use the standard residual versus my predicted y value to create my standard residual plot. So first, choose the predicted the GPA column, and then find the control on your keyboard. Push control at the same time select the standard residual column. So now you select both column, and then we're going to start to generate my scatter plot. So find the insert tab, and then find the chart area, find the scatter plot. And we are using the most of the, the very basic scatter plot, so my first scatter plot. So this is my scatter plot I'm going to use. So the new plot you generated is called standard residual plot. And the vertical axis is the standard residual, and a horizontal axis is my predicted y value. So if you look at my standard residual plot, what you are looking for is if any dot outside the positive 2 or below the negative 2. So obviously, if you're looking at this example, none of the dot is outside positive 2 or smaller than negative 2. So in this case, we cannot find outliers. In